Okay, so humans are the first animals who've not been calorie starved. And it's only been wow. since the Industrial Revolution. Yeah. So since the Industrial Revolution, we have not had, since the Great Depression and all that, of course. we have not had a problem with calories. And look at what's happened. Everybody's got fat, uh, diabetes, like we've got, we've gorged. Sick. We gorged all crazy because we're, our brains are telling us, get food, get food. Yeah. Because it's been like that for millennia where we need to worry about getting food. And it's addictive. And now we have food and we're just going hog wild on it. Think about this. This is the part that, that is a real, it's, it's difficult for all of us in this digital age. It's also been that way with information. Mm -hmm. And only in the last 20 years has the flow of information opened up where it's like now there's more content created in one day than in the history of the world all at once together before that. Mm -hmm. And people are gorging on it. They're on their phones 24 seven. They're Netflixing four hours a day. Yes. It's like we, we're just gorging on this information. It's yes. like one thing you can do is set a filter, like you understand what you put into your body affects you, what you put into your mind affects you. Mm -hmm. So like you can set a filter on how much you consume and yes. what you consume because your mental health, this is now becoming a more mainstream thing that's okay to talk about is mental health and people's struggles with mental health and the spectrum of mental health. Mm -hmm. Well, one way to support your mind and your ability to show up like whole and with energy and feeling good is to be deliberate about what you're consuming digitally what websites you're watching, what shows you're watching, how much you're consuming, all that stuff. Because the whole comparative thing where you're on Instagram and, you're, and people are comparing themselves to other people, it's like, it's tough in terms of, now we're off on a, on a tangent, and we, I know you asked yeah. about purpose, and I'm telling you, watch what but you But this consume. is distracting you from your purpose, right? right? Like you were saying, there are all these roadblocks, yeah. all of these distractions in, in modern day that yeah. you have to be aware of. Because, and I'm not anti-consumption, by the way. No, of course not, but you're comparing yourself to someone on Instagram, and that can distract you to feel like you need to go yes. be like that person, yeah. when really what you're, you're saying just, is, be you, Yeah. Right? Like what, what do you feel, what do you want, what looks like fun? I like to say, Take inventory of all of the, take inventory of everything around you that can support you in your goal, and then take the next most fun step towards your goal. Like most people are looking for something outside themselves. To make them. I took feel a look better. at Big Franchisee over here, Double Champ Champ, who's running this whole thing, and and you know he started out in support, and I was like, we need someone who's really adept at video. Mm -hmm. Who around here's got any interest in that? And Anthony's like, well, I was an audio engineer. I was like, great. It's inventory of what do, what do I actually have access to and how can I parlay that towards my goal? Hey, let's get, have you take these classes. Let's have you practice with me. Let's have you go on the road. Let's have you learn from Carrie. Like, and now, five years later, he is at a, a level of skill that is so far beyond anything we ever had, right. Carrie or otherwise. Like he's on a new, because it was like, hey, this is what's around that I can use in the direction of my goal. So rather than looking outside yourself, look around at what you have access to and who you know and pull from that. Mm. And using your gifts moving forward, just like Ann Charles. Big franchise.